Uh, to define art, one would not finish because art itself has no stop point. Art is freedom, but taking it from King Solomon, art is a combination of two things. Me and acrylic paint will define art on a canvas. Me and then maybe my football will define art on the pitch. Uh, if it's if you are not the one producing it, it then it means you the appreciator and what you are appreciating is also art. Freedom of my time and they also give me freedom as to when to rest. And the most important thing is it gives me freedom of thinking. You create and then just flow. There is no boundary. Finding freedom in art makes me enjoy it more. I have three favorite artists. Michelangelo Bonaruti because he said human or figure is the highest object in art. So I just married that and then went on further to research in his work and then I end up loving it because of his forms. Ofer Daku taught me while I was in school and still he's one of my consultants when it comes to the artist and he has some kind of dynamics in, in his works. That's what I like. But it doesn't, uh, because you see him working on one piece and he's dedicated to it. And whenever he's doing it, the kind of concentration that he gives to the work makes me like his kind of art. The sound that birds make is extraordinary. Listening to this kind of extraordinary uh, noise and because it satisfies me, it gives me space to do things extraordinary. Anything that makes me happy, anything that gives me the freedom to love whatever I do, anything that gives me <clears throat> satisfaction as an artist. Kintampo Waterfalls is the coolest place that uh, spiritually it satisfies you and it gives you inspiration.